I hold you? It's Filippo from Not Coming. Well, welcome to London. Oh, thank um, you. So it's a great year for you. You have the release of Incredibles 2 and also it's the 25th anniversary of the piano. So what can you tell us about these two things? How excited you are? Well, the, the piano was, will, is and will remain one of my most favorite projects that I will ever do. Um, I'm thrilled that this is the 25th uh, anniversary for it. Um, uh, and, and the Incredibles to have this come out the same year uh, is is it's, it's an embarrassment of riches for me. I'm, I'm very grateful. Well, I hope you enjoyed both of them yes, in different ways, right? Oh well, totally. I mean, they're such um, different movies that 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 in itself is kind of an enjoyment to you know to see the, the, those two different worlds. Thank you very much. Well, I think you know people are responding to what you just to the fact that it, it is about a family. You know, it's not just a superhero movie. I really think people respond singularly to the fact, and importantly to the fact that it is something they recognize, something that they're a part of, their own family, and the, the movie doesn't um, iron out or leave out all of the stress of being part of a family, the difficulties, the, the, the tensions, the fusses. Um, so I, I think that that's something that people love to see. They, they feel it's a reflection of their experience. I think, you know, it, it is a true fantasy world. It's kind of an, an escapist world that, that people Ladies always love to go to movies for that. Party. So it's kind of a whole universe uh, of mythology, of fantasy that people respond to. Well, you know, I, I, I think that, you know, one of the things that the, the movie is expressing is how powerful women are, you know, and, and how, and how powerful they can be um, when the desire is, is there. And, you know, the first movie, Elastigirl is very reluctant to step into that arena again, into the superhero arena. And in this movie, once she does, I think she's just overwhelmed with enthusiasm for the opportunity. The way that we record it, but after I've been recording for about three months, I turned to Brad Bird, the creator, and I said, I've got a great part! You know, so it, it, it took me a, a while to understand just how much responsibility and how much fun Elastigirl was actually having. You know, Brad Bird, who created it, uh, I, I felt like I trusted him implicitly, so if he wanted to take that kind of time, he was doing it for good reasons, and he wanted to have a great story to tell, and, and he does. Well, no, you know, oddly enough, it wasn't uh, strange, because I did the first movie entirely in the room Brad Bird, and only Brad who wrote and created the first movie. So when we did this one, I was back, back with Brad, and I was back with Brad. I mean, I, I tend to kind of keep my kids out of conversations, mm -hmm. but yes, needless to say, they, they also love it.